It's your boy Jahan Jones and you're watching LeMay Day Limelight. Hey everybody, it's Sharique LeMay and Jay Penn and we have a question. Do you want to know how to become a social media influencer? Let me know, because I need a check. We need these checks. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome, 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 everybody. This is your girl, Sharique LeMay. We have... Jay Penn. You know what it you is. You know what it is. And hi, everybody. We're back. We're back. <laughs> We're in a new location. Yes. This is... Thank you to Wesley Scott Interiors. Mr. Scott Interiors. Yes, Wesley thank Scott you. Interiors. One of those. We got our sexy on. We feeling you know, good and fancy. And it's all a special that. little episode. It yeah. is. I'm really excited about this episode because... You know, social media is such a big thing, and mm -hmm. it's not the bane of my existence, but it's it's not an easy thing to navigate mm -hmm. also, but it is what it is. It's yeah. taking over. So. You have to be strategic about it. Exactly. You know, a lot of brands and businesses, like if you don't have social media, it's like you don't exist, mm -hmm. you know? And, you and that goes to like your own person as well. Like if you are your brand as a creative, as a whatever you do, you know, your social media is key. It's pivotal to, mm -hmm. you know, boosting your business mm -hmm. to the next level. And it's taken over. So we have the awesome, amazingly talented Jahan Jones. He's an actor, a producer. You know him. I'm sure you've seen him on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. All of that. All of that stuff. Hilarious. So he's coming in to drop some gems on us. Mm -hmm. Give us a little information about his career and, you know, how to navigate through all of this crazy social media madness. Yeah. But we know. We know. Y'all mad at us for being on break for a little while. <laughs> but we wanted to come back at y'all with a really good episode. Right. So. And, you know, breaks are necessary. Mm -hmm. I had some some family things I had to go through. Unfortunately, I had a member in my family I'm really close to who passed away. So I've been dealing with that and still maintaining my own mental health and mm -hmm. getting my life in order. Because yeah. you know, checks still have to be made Absolutely. and paid. Absolutely. So, how have you been? I've been relatively well, mm -hmm. busy, but relatively well. Um, I am the newly appointed senior editor at Obvious Magazine. Woo! That was really exciting. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. I'm really excited about that. And uh, my first feature for that magazine will come out uh, this month. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing the art of modeling issue, nice. which is every the entire uh, magazine is dedicated to models, models, models. Well, we have three cover models, but they, they ran a contest mm -hmm. um, and people submitted and voted and there was a whole thing and uh, three there were three cover winners selected, um, mm -hmm. two of which are plus size models. I um, like I think what Obvious Magazine is starting to do is they're really trying to bend the narrative or break the mold of what what people's or society's concepts of beauty and, right. and what models I should look it. like. Right. You know, I think there's it's very inclusive. Um, and we've got some really dope things. I've got some dope things that are going to be published right. in this issue. So I'm just really excited I'm about excited that. I'm excited for you. So make sure you guys are checking out Obvious Mag and then following them on social media. Bam. And Jay Penn. And Sharique. And Sharique Clement. And LaMadery Limelight. And LaMadery Limelight. Straight up. Well, I just want to just jump into this interview yeah. with Jahan. Yeah, let's talk to Jahan. We got a lot of stuff we got for y'all. So Absolutely. stay tuned. So now we've got comedian, actor, and producer Jahan Jones with us today. Yes. Hey. Now, hey. What's up, Jahan? How you Hello, doing? How's it going? How's it guys? going? Great. Good? Sunny day. It's sunny in California. Nice couch. You know, you know, we, we, <laughs> this, is our, this is our, our special set for the day. Yeah. You know, usually yeah. we're in a different area, but you know, we switched it up a little mm -hmm. bit well, like for Mr. Jones. Yeah, yes. specifically for you. Thank so welcome you. to Limelight. We appreciate you for being here. So we're just going to jump right into it. So we know that you have a huge social media following mm -hmm. and I've known you for a while. So I've actually watched you grow and build and build and build. What does that mean for you? Like when you wake up in the morning, how does that feel? Like, do you feel like you have a responsibility or is it just fun or is it like a job job? Um. I don't want to say a job job because you know when it becomes a job job then it's not really fun anymore mm -hmm. it's not really a passion uh, I feel like it's a sense of uh, accomplishment uh, mm -hmm. I feel like I was able to take my career into my own hands and really uh, just take charge and create 
you know, I, I say I'm an actor, a stand-up mm-hmm. comic, or whatever I want to call myself, then I should be doing it. Right. And um, just having means to the access of the world via the internet is, is crucial these days, and mm-hmm. you really don't have an excuse to um, to next succeed if with all these tools that right. we have. Right. You know, I mean, I, f- I always joke about it, but I feel like, you know, if you don't think you know something, go to YouTube. There you go. Watch it's a tutorial. Facts. Facts. Learn how to be a doctor. <laughs> and open heart surgery right. on YouTube. Right. right. Seriously. I think a lot of the stuff we do on this show is self-taught. Pretty much. We live in a yeah. self-taught time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So there is no excuse to being successful and, and accomplishing your dreams. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So how did you get started in social media? I know that you were on Vine. And I know that you're an actor. A lot of people don't know that you've been doing the acting thing for a while since yeah. I think before 2005 or so. Yeah. So yeah. how did you venture into social media? Well, you know, social media was always something that we all knew about. Um, I started off doing like a YouTube series. Yeah. Uh, this young lady was like, yeah, she was work, doing some stuff with a digital company that Wyclef was trying to jump off mm. at the time, like before everybody else was doing right. their whole digital companies. Right. Um, she was like, yeah, you know, we, we want to do a, like a comedic show and I want you to think of like five characters. Um, so I thought about five characters, created the story and everything, but we never shot it. Mm-hmm. So you know what? I'm going to do a sketch show, kind of mm-hmm. like in living color Mm -hmm. um with all these characters i had these characters wanted to do something and it was on youtube Mm -hmm. this is before i had a big following this is like my first introduction to social media Mm -hmm. um i had a big launch party for it down in hollywood Mm -hmm. it's about five years ago six years ago and had like 700 people come out to this red carpet event everybody was there Mm -hmm. it was nice robert thompson was there that night um so that was my first introduction to social media. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Vine came mm-hmm. and I was doing my acting as well. So I was, you know, I was looking at it like, oh, well, I, I do plays and, and film and TV. Right. Like, we'll, we'll do the six second app. Yeah. Right. And then I was um, friends with Batch. And yeah, I remember getting a text from him because he would invite me out to some shoots. Mm-hmm. And I just would be too busy. And then get that text message, oh, having a bowling party for my first million followers. I said, oh, well, what? <laughs> what? Wait. Let me, uh, he did it like in a few months, a wow. couple months. So I was like, let me take this more seriously. And then I just watched and built from there and got into different stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, I, uh, Marlon Wayans had a company called What the Funny, mm-hmm. uh, a digital company. I <clears throat> and I got involved with that. But I, because they wanted, they were interested in my. YouTube show, uh-huh. the sketch show, the Jahan Jones is show. Which is funny, so it's all full circle. All full wings. circle. Yep. So I knew coming into that that every black comic or comedic actor was going to be trying to get in mm-hmm. affiliation with yep. what the funny, and mm-hmm. then he had to take care of all a hundred of his family members first. <laughs> so I said, how could I stand out? And right. I realized that they had a Vine account that had like a thousand followers mm. and I, I thought to myself like how is it that you guys are trying to be a digital company and not uh properly utilizing an platform. app that right. is blowing up is one of the fastest means of getting followers mm-hmm. this is like before influencers were called influencers mm-hmm. yeah you know what i mean um so i'm buying stars yeah Vine stars, right. mm-hmm. so i put together a team bought them from a thousand to a hundred thousand in a couple months and you know that was great, but the company didn't go further than what it was, and I neglected my um, my own Vine account, my mm. personal Vine account. So I said to myself, well, let me go to an app that's more secure, and we all know that your boy Mark, Facebook, <laughs> he Mark? is uh, always the godfather. Mm-hmm. So let me go to a, an app that's not, because I knew, I, I, I knew that Vine was a, an app that was kind of like uh, creator, driven right mm-hmm. and it was only 15 seconds too. six seconds six oh snap so so yeah. it was the once batch and, and they storm and all the big guys was like oh, i'm over it then mm-hmm. you know all the people was gonna be like well where are you guys going mm-hmm. you know they were getting like that so i said let me go to an app that's more secure um which was instagram mm-hmm. you know they had they had just added the uh, <clears throat> additional 15 seconds to video the story, right. yeah. um so 
And I knew that they were secure because they were a sister app of Facebook. Facebook. Right. Yeah. And they ain't going nowhere. Come on. <laughs> so I was like, let me just go ahead right. and I'm going to post a video on Instagram, a sketch every day. And so I, every day. I reached a million followers. Wow. I said, that's what I vowed to do and that's what I got. And I don't even think it's like it has to do with the frequency, but you're just that talented. You're a oh, funny thank guy. You. Thank yes. you. That helps. You that know, helps. it does help. The, <laughs> I, I, I have this, this rule to the internet. It's inevitable for you to get million followers mm -hmm. it's all about consistency mm -hmm. yeah. got a book coming out soon too it's called come on book. hill to a meal all yeah. right let us find to give out. you more details we'll, about that okay, okay. but number one we'll key, do a giveaway yeah <laughs> there we go we'll there we go but the number one key is consistency so you don't necessarily have to have the mm -hmm. best talent because if you're consistent people mm -hmm. will eventually buy into it right. now having talent gets you a little bit fr further right. faster for sure but for all you guys who feel like, oh, I'm not the greatest, you know, don't Just have to be. Because also in that, what our parents always t teach us, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> uh, whatever that thing is that you're doing, after doing it a thousand times, you mm -hmm. are pretty much a professional. Put your at work in. Whatever that. If so you're what we got to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, everything Look, I just said. Too. Yeah, but yeah. we going to keep it rolling. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, so... As far as social media goes, is there something that you don't like about social media or is there anything that you would change about it or how the platforms uh, operate these days? Uh, well, I think we all are aware of like the algorithm. The algorithm. Mm -hmm. The algorithm. Changes. <laughs> you say it, uh, uh, But hey, it's not in any of our control. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my whole goal is to eventually be able to transcend my followers into true supporters to mm -hmm. where it's not so dependent on any exactly. particular website you right. know what i mean if that if instagram or facebook shut down i won't be shut down because right. they'll still find a way mm -hmm. to get to me um it's all ran by money you mm -hmm. know that's what the whole systematic system you know that's why it's all in place ads because, promotions yeah because right. it's yeah they want and they don't want influencers in my theory to be getting all the money and mm -hmm. all the brand deals mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. why pay influencers when you can pay us to i think get it's the same gotten reach? it's gotten bigger than what they expected yeah and and individuals and influencers kind of became a bigger entity than mm -hmm. what they thought so the influencers are bigger than the platform to so to speak i think it's, it's kind of like the platform's way of taking keeping control mm -hmm. of it and making sure that the money's being filtered still through them right um that's all, that's which kind of sucks but you know whatever <laughs> that's what, that's Gotta just, deal. that's what it's all about you know um and, and they're, they're trying ways to implement um payment structure because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. youtube has always done it um, and now I think Facebook is, uh, well, Facebook is monetizing yeah. now, um, yeah. but you know, it's never it's the never. bigger yeah. piece of the pie that we, right. you, you're so never we getting that. we just start our own, we just start our own app and you know. That's what we'll do. Yeah. We'll and then Mark will come around and, <laughs> and buy you out. Buy you out. Come on. Well, depending I'm going to buy you out or if you don't want it, okay, we'll duplicate you. <laughs> Duplication. Make the exact Push same you thing. All out. Mm -hmm. That's funny. So, okay, I asked you this uh, at a panel that you did recently in regards to demographics with social media. And I, <clears throat> I liked what you had to say. So, what I have noticed, just being someone who studies, I, I'm not huge on social media, but I, I have to be because it's my job. And I like to study the different demographics. And I sometimes venture into other areas of Instagram that aren't always readily in my face, aren't in my search. So I'm like, we have white influencers, we have Latino influencers, but they're not intermingling. You know, I feel like I'm I'm stuck in black Twitter. I'm stuck in black Instagram. Have you noticed that or experienced that? Or can you speak to that to a certain extent being an influencer? Um, The reason why you, why, why you may be stuck in certain categories, for example, black Twitter, mm -hmm. is because most likely you like black Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all right, it's all right. It's okay. Uh, it's, 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 again, it's based on the algorithm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the algorithm, the whole, beyond all the other theories that we have, the sole purpose of the algorithm mm -hmm. was to put all of the, 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 the users in a place where they can quote unquote calculate what you like right so if, to keep you hooked and keep you yes going. so if they see and youtube does it too mm -hmm. they probably got it from youtube because yeah. it's 
it's fixated in a way where basically if you like a black twitter type of video mm -hmm. then it's going to say oh you like that mm -hmm. so next time you come on instagram you're going to see stuff related to mm -hmm. that like the suggested friends or the suggested mm -hmm. followers i feel like it kind of all it's very in it's one big wa web yep. mm -hmm. right so all you got to do is start like study some us. caucasian influencers i gotta start i gotta find the caucasian you start, influencers. yeah liking <laughs> and you, commenting have you done any videos with any anyone of course. yeah okay of course so that's especially like in the find it. in the vine world you know there was more caucasian Asian and, and other races for influencers mm -hmm. than it is now like Instagram is kind of like you kind of get stuck in your own world like if you, you look at urban creators then you're gonna you you're know, gonna but Vine was like everybody yeah you know what I mean? yeah so I noticed that a lot of them were out here now but now like I said on Instagram you kind of get stuck with okay so we gotta we gotta purpose you gotta expand your you gotta, I have to yeah. intentionally yes. expand my expand horizons. your thumb my thumb my thumb need to expand move. your double tap <laughs> yes. we'll do that. so okay so i was on youtube today mm -hmm. and i've been seeing what you've been posting you have oh, you a new seeing... web series that you're a part of with bet social i believe oh, yeah. bet digital spoof d's yeah i thought it was hilarious oh, so tell me what is spoof d's what, what <clears throat> is that about because it seems like it's something that you might have conjured up no spoof d's is actually not mine um spoof d's is uh basically spoofing mm -hmm. we're spoofing movie trailers that are coming out oh i like that. yeah so we did the joker we did men in black we did pet cemetery mm -hmm. we did john wick uh what's that new superhero movie coming out uh, captain marvel, captain marvel? Not, not no captain that came marvel. out avengers endgame no the the guy the, the guy that's oh uh, um our shazam 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 and um we did, we did Star Wars, you know, so basically spoofing movies mm -hmm. and it's gold. Mm -hmm. it's, we shot I, it. it was funny. People yeah. like that stuff. People like it. But yeah. I think it's very interesting that now you have BET and all these larger networks that are reaching out to influencers and creating this platform because they know that they have to be digital. They know mm -hmm. that that's where it's at. I don't go to BET on my TV. I don't know a lot of us. I think they get a lot, a, a lot of networks, especially like BET, a lot of their traffic is coming from digital now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like I think the, the social media awards got more viewership online than the actual TV. Mm -hmm. Which right. makes sense. It's, Which makes sense. That's where everybody's at right now. That's yeah. where the audiences are. I imagine all of the nominees, they were probably promoting it on their platform and they probably created ways for their following to see to their platform. They and then you got this whole generation now or that people just sometimes they just don't feel like being at their couch at a certain time that's true uh -huh. so i'll just catch you later when so i feel all... like it <laughs> no, i'm just playing i'm just playing <laughs> hey, hey, it's crazy that's true. well that that's interesting because though y'all binge watch though right oh um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah all right totally. so y'all still sit down and watch but you still at the same time watch when you want to watch oh definitely exactly. so absolutely you are there's been some evolving evolving mm -hmm. in in the way we we consume i feel like there's like um like an established group of influencers and comedy influencers and just kind of everybody that's find their niche like do you think it's too late for newcomers to attempt to reach social media success never now? too late okay never too late i feel like there's always a revolving pool of influencers anyway doing different mm -hmm. things um just do yeah it's, it's never too late i i had my boy uh deshay he's doing pretty well he was already like close to a million on instagram but like mm -hmm. the youtube thing was a whole it's a whole different audience mm -hmm. it seems and he was able to get like a million subscribers doing the pranks and all the other mm -hmm. youtube style of right. social media in a month mm -hmm. right so i mean and that's not because he had a follow on Instagram, it's just because he got serious about that particular platform. Um, so needless to say, no, it's not too late for anybody watching because mm -hmm. he did it in a month and you can too. Well, I'm gonna do it in a month. Josh, we gonna do we it We gonna do it this year. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Best believe. So, I, before we get into all the other things that you have going on, because I know you have a lot, I want to talk about the Juice movie <laughs> because I was really impressed with just how you went about it, how you tackled it. You created the trailer for it. Everybody thought the movie was already out and then you're like, I'm gonna have a party and I'm gonna invite all these investors. So just tell me, what was the, the mind frame and what was the, the reasoning behind the way that you went about it? And what is the Juice movie? Okay, well, first the Juice is, uh, it's a movie about Jerry Curls. <laughs> it's about Jerry Curls? It's about, it's about Jerry, Jerry Curls. Curls. 
Okay. So like what? It's kind of like a, you know, a young cat who, he didn't create jerry curls, but he created a formula to enhance the jerry curl okay. and make it last longer and it goes crazy in the streets and we wanted to do like a boys in the hood mm -hmm. mixed with, you know, Lash Dragon and like just that good feel. We wanted a, a real a real feel mm -hmm. to it. Um, versus like this crazy animated movie because mm -hmm. we look animated enough. Mm -hmm. um, so I said, you know, when you say that, it's kind of hard to, you might get that cartoonish thought of that's what this movie is going to be. So mm -hmm. I said, what better way to explain it than to show it? Mm -hmm. So me being a creator, I just, you know, had that. Okay, since we have talked about it in this interview, the juice is, the star of that is Juicy Larry. Juicy, Juicy Larry. Larry came from my web series, mm -hmm. the Jahan Jones Is Show. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like, oh, where did the juice come from? It mm -hmm. came from way back mm -hmm. when I first had the character. So mm -hmm. that was he was one of the one of the characters that I came up with. Mm -hmm. So he's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. So when you know, I got approached with one of my partners, and he was like, you know, what characters do you want to work on? I said, well, let's work on Juicy Larry. That's, and he was like, well, let's build a world around Juicy, Juicy Larry, Larry's which world. became the juice. The juice. Dope. So, and then, you know, we shot it. I said, hey, man, let's just have, well, you've been around mm -hmm. me for a while. You know, I do big parties. So I said, you know, let's just do a big launch party. It was it's a big party. Did you rock the Jerry Curl yes, at the party? <laughs> Many rocked the Jerry Curl. Because <laughs> it was an 80s thing party. So okay. people okay. were supposed to come dressed mm -hmm. Yes. Ready. And they did. Juicy fat. Juicy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, that was like over a thousand people came to that mm -hmm. party. That was uh, that was a good night. Now did anybody say why are you doing this? Why don't you people, you know get it picked up first? Why are you going about it this way? People always are going to question. Mm -hmm. I like to go against the, the you know the grade a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I was even thinking about taking that party on tour. Hey. Which is a promotional party yeah. for a movie, mm -hmm. which is unethical because that's a promotional party for a movie that's not even out. Right. And normally people do a promotional party to promote the movie. Right. Right. But I'm doing a promotional party hey, to I'm promote right. the movement, which will get mm -hmm. more attention on the product. If you build it, they will come. They can't. And they did. Bam. So I just imagine if you keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Now you're like, hey, what this stuff, what this done? You, you mm -hmm. create a demand. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, oh, we gotta do it this way. Mm -hmm. No, you just do it your way. That's smart. I'm, I'm rocking with that one. I know. I wanna make it. <laughs> We're coming. We'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what else do you have coming up? Um, well, we, we definitely got spoof D's. We got the juice. I'm working on exploding my YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just in a place now of just uh creating gold mm -hmm. you know um there was a a piece that just came out called bel-air oh i, I saw, saw that, that. The fan movie yeah. so dope i saw that but it's not the actual it's not it, a real it's thing. not a, yeah it was a little yeah it's because it's called a fan movie mm -hmm. um, well it needs to be a not fan movie and a see, real movie and, and that's right. the thing like, they drew me in it was good right yes mm -hmm. and they've been doing fan movies for a while it's just like no body black has really tapped into like fan move fan mm -hmm. films mm -hmm. um like they did one for power rangers i remember yeah, when that came out so that was a dark version yep they did mortal kombat yep yeah so so is they do them just black people haven't done them and haven't really done them as much especially when it comes to the cultural yeah you know like like fresh prince of bel-air yeah come on now right you put a spin on that everybody's you know turns mm -hmm. it into a drama it was millions and millions of yeah. shares yeah so yeah. it's like oh well what, what is this so my whole goal is just to kind of like you know of course i've done the social media thing and, and I've, I've been able to build a platform and a face in that world but now i'm in a place because i'm a creator it's time just to create gold Mm -hmm. create series create stuff that people want to come back to versus all these one-offs I've been doing for years yeah you know a series that somebody wants to see or uh, a, a fan film or something not even just a fan film just that type of art mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where people be like I want to be known for it's like mm -hmm. yeah hey, this is dope he makes dope content yeah and and, and, and stories that I want to follow and I want to buy mm -hmm. into and I want to see go bigger like that's a great feeling that people yeah. want to see Bel Air become 
bigger than what it is right. because you, you never know where that lays if you build up enough noise and then Will hear it and then they say, oh, right. I'm like, I'm waiting for Will Smith to read Yeah, right. you know, <laughs> and he, I know he's hearing about it and yeah. he's waiting. Well, he got to make a choice to say something about it because I he said he stuff about He probably did. He said something sure. like he would have to be Uncle Phil. Like if the movie was to be done. Oh, he said he it? On his page? To, that, I believe somebody reposted it. I think he said something about we him. We got to check. We're all going to check the real page. We're going to check. We're going to check. But I that mean, was, they did it so well. I mean, he because he's so engulfed in social media now because mm -hmm. he knows the importance of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He heard about it. And yeah. you know he has to answer to it because he, he talks about other stuff. Right. So, yeah. you know. Right. He says. So then, my question to you is: it, Are you planning on venturing outside of comedy? Are you wanting to do more serious? I'm gonna roles? do it all. Okay. I'm gonna do it all. I actually started off doing drama first. Right. Mm. I got an NAACP award. I Come on. Hey yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. you know, it's a theater award. You don't really mm -hmm. don't you don't get that being all the way funny. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's the best supporting male for a project I did a, a play called Sunday Morning. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a mixture. It, it, it's it's I'm just going to start with creating and then whatever project leads to, you know, if it has to be drama, I'm there for it because I can do it. Okay. Um, if you really think about it, though, if you really, really, really look in depth of my content, mm -hmm. it really all comes from a dramatic place or Real dark experience. Yeah. yeah. None of it's really just me. Whoa, 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 I'm wacky. Like it's, <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, this is what's going on and me yeah. reacting mm -hmm. and you laughing at my pain or mm -hmm. the painful situation. Mm -hmm. So it's never really it's rooted in something deeper. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm as I'm doing <laughs> as I'm doing the longer YouTube sketches, it's exposing that to me. Right. Cuz I'm realizing Dang, the same type of video that you, you do on Instagram, 60 seconds, when you have to expand it more, you get more of like the nuances. And yeah, the and the right? realness of yeah. the situation. Like I did one uh, when my, my you, you, you cheated on your girl and you're still with her. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And all this, like, see all, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't, you did that last night, you didn't, like, mm -hmm. her pain. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So now, if you elongate, elongate that video, you see that pain from her longer. It's like, oh, this is starting to get deep. Yeah, <laughs> right. it's yeah. getting way deeper. Like, you <laughs> yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And I was like, oh, oh have all my videos hard. been this dark? Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to realize that. Right. You know what I mean? That's um, interesting. I the comedy only that. goes so far. Like, right. there's yeah. a deeper story. The comedy, you, there's the you can laugh line. at a moment and a punch. Mm -hmm. right. But like when you start to stretch and you, you girls is is talking okay. for about thirty seconds, you're like, oh, now I'm starting to feel like you see a performance. Like I'm starting to feel bad. You <laughs> laughing at me, but I'm starting to feel bad for you too. So it's like <laughs> it's a lot going on. Like right. I see, and then I feel better about it. Yeah, it's therapeutic for everybody. Right. So you feel better about your situation. Yeah everybody's situation that's dope but yes well thank you we're not going to take up too much of your time we know that you're a busy man but let everybody know where they can find you what you have coming up hey it's your boy jahan jones that's j-u-h-a-h-n jones is probably at the bottom somewhere here yep. <laughs> um you can find me on every platform facebook instagram youtube under jahan jones uh the juice is coming the juice is coming. uh check out okay. spoof d's that's mm -hmm. coming out every Sunday on BET Digital, on their YouTube and, and all their platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of a lot of fun films. I just shot another series too called uh, "Are You Hitting That?" Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> it's coming out. It's a fun series coming out on YouTube. Hopefully this Saturday. Hopefully right. we'll be posting every Saturday of that. A bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, also in, in the near in the future future. I want to have a restaurant. Okay. So we're going to. I'll be entrepreneur. Yeah, you know. And we'll be time. back to film that too. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I'm saying? We'll film an episode in the in restaurant. The restaurant. Yes. With so. a plate of food. <laughs> Bam. Chicken and biscuits. Right. Yeah. Chicken and biscuits. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for rocking with us. I, again, I am Sharik LeMay. I'm Jay Penn. You know what it is. Have a lovely, lovely day. And then catch us next week for our season finale of season two. No, we have two episodes. Two episodes. Two episodes left. Because it's going to be real, real lit. Oh, thank you again to yes. Jahan Jones. And thank you to our lovely uh, host hosting us in this. Yes. Amazing. To, uh, Mr. Scott Interiors. Yes. Just, just great. Yeah. But check us out, you guys, and have a great day.